for some Team Slayer on ZR. Guys, Zealot, new map here. Still old school rules, 50 kills. There's a sniper added to the map top gold. We've blocked off space and there's a grenade launcher as well. What can we expect to see here to start this game? Uh, you're gonna see a lot of teams controlling the sniper spawn right by that portal and holding down those landings. And right now we're gonna swap out Shockwave for Ogre won this game. And Scott, we're gonna start this game off with a player who had the most kills for Vicious Intent. Last round, that's Blaze. And I just like him because of his hat too, Chris. Cookie Monster, man, it's epic. And we got Ogre One all headsetted up. Dan, how you feeling? It's great to have you back on the pro circuit. Uh, glad to be here, Pucket. And Dan, talk to us. You've been in Australia for the last couple of years. How's life been treating you? Uh, things are going pretty good. Happy out there? Yeah. Riding in kangaroos? Uh, just one or two. One That's, or two. Two. That's good. That's it. Well, Dan, you have been brought out here by Doritos for this weekend as a pro evaluator. Talk to us. What have you been up to this weekend, and, and what have you seen so, from some of the amateurs? Uh, this weekend I've been sticking people with stickers uh, when they impress me, and then uh, over at the Doritos stage, we uh, grade them with a report card on how well they play. And, of course, legendary, or another legend joining us this weekend is Darkman, our very first MLG pro. You guys seem to be having a great time over at the Dorito station. But tell us, what are some of the things that you've seen from the eight players that are up here? Uh, I've actually seen quite a few of these guys over at the Doritos booth, and I think they were just tearing it up the whole time. I remember Lethal and Bullets and Napoleon. This whole team over here. And <laughs> we got the entire Vicious Intent team made their way to the evaluation uh, The other station. team, I saw a couple of those names as well. And, and I know you got a chance to personally uh, do lethal here. What did you like about this guy? Uh, all I know is in the team games, he was dropping 25 kills over at the Burrito station. 50-kill uh, game, he's getting half his team, team's kills. It's pretty impressive. Pretty darn impressive. That's like old school Ogre 1 style back yeah. in the H1 days. Right now we're watching as Lethal picks up another kill. Four medals popping up on his screen here. Gotta love Halo Reach. And now he's going up the red lift looking to take control of the top. But you have to give props to Victoria's Secret so far in this game. They've been holding down the top and they've especially been locking down the sniper side of the map, Dan. Uh, I think on this game type it's probably important to hold down the gold side, sniper side. It's a little bit elevated. And there's not too many ways to get up there. And there we got another cleanup kill out of bullets here from Vicious Intent, making a push on the Victoria's Secret squad. And nice jumps comes up behind Calm. Calm wasn't expecting it, can't finish the kill. Calm doing a nice job of staying alive for a moment, but finally bullets drops down, finishes that one. You see the armor lock and the bait and switch, just incredible teamwork out of Vicious Intent right there. Yeah, and that they, they what they need to do is stay away from red and blue landings by the sniper. You gotta go from the bases. If you hit that landing, you're pretty much giving the other team a kill. And Dan, you know, I have my phone on me and my phone is blowing up with text messages. Everyone asking, are you going to be making a return in, in Dallas for Halo Reach? Um, probably not. Uh, I know Mystic, my old buddy from high school, uh, we went to a tournament last weekend, and we had a lot of fun. He's trying to get me to team with him for Shout Dallas. out to Kevin Colvin. Nistic. Shout out to Kevin Colvin. Hope you're enjoying the stream, buddy. He was the one who actually sent that text message, Dan. All right. <laughs> so possibly going to be teaming with Nistic, but uh, uh, unlikely return to, to Halo Reach. Huh? Yeah. If I go, I'll probably team with Kevin. He's He was impressive last and, weekend. And do you think you'll ever come back for 2011? Uh, there's maybe a slim, slim chance, but probably, most likely not. All right, well, all of us here at MLG will be crossing our fingers. We'd love to see you back in action, but turning our attention back to the game, we are watching as Victoria's Secret has a four-kill lead here. It is do or die in the best-of-seven series. They're losing 3-0. They need this game to stay alive here on the main stage. Otherwise, Vicious Intent will be crowned our first-ever Reach Combine champions. They will win the first-ever Reach competition here at MLG. Monix getting out the MR'd by Lethal, who does not stop impressing me, Scott. Yeah, he's just shooting incredible right now, Chris. There's no one who can stop him. And we turn our attention over to Swift Kill. He's got the sniper rifle and about a three, two kill lead make that for Victoria's Secret. Nice job by Swift Kill reacting to the call. That's oh, yeah. going down low and then no scoping for the double kill. Make it a triple. You won't do it. You're right. <laughs> Lethal's going to put a stop to him. Let's switch our camera over to Lethal as he pulls out that sniper rifle. Oh, that looks good to me. A little bit of bloom on that, though.
So just a two-kill game. It's been tight since the very beginning. Lethal making the push down low as Napoleon is going to take down Watch. 39 to 38 here. Vicious Intent trying to make a push, but Lethal has no shields to help out. And Lethal needs to be careful right now. He needs to go top middle right now and put shots down because they have him trapped under the base. And really, I've just kind of noticed that it looks like Lethal lets his teammates start the kill, and he has been the cleanup man this game, Scott. Yeah, and he needs to be careful, though, because he has the sniper rifle. He needs to put himself in a better position right now, Chris. Right now, Lethal has 14 kills, leading the blue squad here. It's Vicious Intent looking to become our first ever Reach Champions, and he's going to pick up a kill on watch with grenades. Just great job of listening and reacting to those callouts. That's just not the route you're looking for. You're trying to get out of there as quick as you can. And Molnix leading all players with 15 kills, but we're going to switch our camera over to Bullets. He's getting positioned top middle, and now it looks like he's dropping down here for a point, Scott. Yeah, and notice how he's going to come up the stairs and then going straight up the front. Everyone knows you're going to come up the front, so it's better to go up the stairs. And we got Bullets going down low. Swift Kill is going to finish him 49 to 44. Let's go over to the red team. They're looking to finish this one strong. And I'm glad we went to Monix, Chris. This is the guy who I said I, impressed me this weekend. Swift kill is engaging lethal. It looks like Monix trying to finish off the kill as Calm and Watch are going to finish off the final kill on Blaze. Victoria's Secret staying alive here on our main stage. So let's take a look at our Halo Reach stats. Swift going huge in that one. 16 and 7. That is plus 9 over on the other side. You had Lethal dropping 15 kills. He had plus 3. But Victoria's Secret is going to pull it out. The score now 3 to 1. And Dan, we got we to gotta show your pretty face on this broadcast. You want to look in that camera right over here to your right. Any shout outs you want to give? Uh... Shout out to my boys in, over in Oz. I got Mafinga, Benno, all the Frey guys, uh, and of course Kevin Colvin. I already gave that one. All right. Well, hopefully we see all those guys you just mentioned making a return to the circuit. Dan, thank you so much for joining us. It's great to have you back here at MLG. I know Scott enjoyed it as well. And we are going to a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll have Game 5 of the Halo Reach Finals.